friends, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Um, it's it's the month of love, of course. It's February, so I I'm I'm here. I'm here for you guys <laughs> doing predictions for your twin soul journey, um, and I'm going to be putting all of my um, all of my love readings on sale. So if you want to book a reading with me, you can click in the description box below, Cancer, and we'll go from there. I'm going to go ahead and clear your space. Um, let me pause this. And I'm going to get all of your cards out like I did in my last um, three readings. I read for Aries, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. I'm going to get all your cards laid out and then interpret them so that I can read the energy as a whole. Because I'll be able to get a bigger picture of like um, the whole energy space. <clears throat> so if you don't like the shuffling, I'm sorry, but that's just how I'm going to do it. All right. So now we are reading for cancer. Also, I will no longer be focusing on singles reads. I'm, since I am a twin soul reader, I'm only going to be focusing on reading for twin souls. For the guidance of my spirit guides, one card for Cancer, please. What do they need to know about their twin soul journey? Cancer for February, please. So that will be my new focus. <clears throat> All right, so we have a Romance Angel card out for you. I'm going to do your Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. And thank you all for being so very patient. You know, in December, I was sick. I had COVID, and the whole entire household had COVID. This is the first time during the whole pandemic that we actually were sick. <clears throat> Cancer. And recently, my daughter brought a cold home from ballet because she takes ballet. And so I was dealing with that again this month. So it's been... A bit of a rocky period. Cancer for cancer, please. Two for cancer. And so I appreciate all of your patience while I got back on track. Oop, that one flew out. Mm -hmm. It's time to take that chance, cancer. Or someone's going to be taking a chance on you. All right, two of the Bodhi Tarot cards, please. I'm going to do one more reading after this for Leo, and then I'm going to call it a night. That's five readings in one night. That's a lot of energy to be sharing with the collective. Yeah, Spirit is wanting you to focus on taking care of yourself and also to get rid of all those toxic people that are in your energy field, Cancer. And you know exactly who I will be talking about when you watch this reading because the names will pop right out at you okay all right what else we have the dragon tarot and i'm going to be pulling four cards from the dragon tarot um spirit is asking also that you go ahead and let your hearts lead with love that is going to put you on your greatest timeline cancer and of course, your greatest timeline will include your twin soul. My beautiful watery cancers. You guys feel so much. <clears throat> okay, we need four cards for cancer in regards to the twin soul reading. Wow, that one came out right away. Ace of Swords. So for those of you who do not know who your twin soul is, I feel like with the Ace of Swords coming out like that, immediately it flipped over and it was sticking out like this in the deck, like that. Um, this There's going to be some clarification as to who your person is immediately. Like when you meet them, there's going to be like a boom, like a light bulb moment. And so I don't know why, but I feel really crooked. I'm going to adjust myself. Cancer. What do we got for Cancer, please? And I'm trying to keep all of these readings under 20 minutes, so I have been doing that with all of them. 
Nine of Swords. We have a lot of swords here. I feel like, <clears throat> Cancer, you may have went through some heartbreak and now you're sort of on the defense and trying to protect your energy, which is okay, but it's not really conducive to love energy, right? How are you going to fall in love if you don't let anybody in? There we go. Wow. Eight of, we got nine of swords and eight of swords. This is a lot of swords, <laughs> Cancer. This is a lot of swords. <laughs> Why do you have so many swords? Why do you have so many swords up? Oh, goodness. That one almost came out, but didn't quite. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. For cancer, woo! Some of you might need to do some grounding because the cards sort of did this weird flip thing, and your energy feels very closed off as well. A lot of swords, another swords. We literally, wow, wow, wow! I have never had a reading like this. We have nine of swords, eight of swords, seven of swords. They all came out. In that order, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. So it's almost like a progression backwards. I don't like that for you. Um, but I'm very confused as to what these cards mean. And so I'm going to have to really tap in and tune in in a second. As soon as I pull this Rumi Oracle card for you. To me, though, it feels like there may have been someone that you felt very manipulated by, almost like they were being dishonest. And so I feel like you might have sort of closed your heart to any new love um, energies that have been coming your way, which <clears throat> is not helping you in any way because you won't be able to experience the lessons that spirit will bring you um, for love in order to get you in alignment with your person if you don't learn the lessons that spirit is giving you about love if you are not letting anybody in to experience those lessons with does that make sense okay. one more card for cancer please to close this reading out and then we're going to interpret the cards for you cancer i'm going to take this one because it's sticking out El Azu, the Star of Venus. It's a beautiful card. And it is number 26. Add it up and six and two make eight. Okay, so <clears throat> nine of swords, eight of swords, seven of swords. And it is all topped off with the ace of swords. So The Ace of Swords is showing me that there is definitely a clarification coming. For those of you that do not know who your twin soul is, when you come across this card, you're going to definitely know it. You're going to feel it. They're going to feel very like home to you. Um, the first card that we have is Love Yourself First. And it's the by the Angel Romance Angels Oracle. And it says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So, Spirit is asking you to focus on yourself and focus on your self-love at the moment. Um, you don't need to focus it anywhere else on anyone else right now. Um, <clears throat> just sort of go with the flow. If Spirit brings you someone that you feel a connection with, then by all means, go ahead and dive into that. I do see you making <clears throat> some more friends. And again, this is about allowing spirit to bring those people into your life that need to be into your life um, and allow them to sort of guide you. Allow spirit to sort of guide you. Allow your intuition to sort of guide you. <clears throat> because one of these, one of these people I think and feel is going to be your person, your twin soul. If you have not for sure, definitely felt like you have met them. 
Um, also, it's saying roll the dice. So I don't know if this is spirit telling you to roll the dice and to let people in, let some new friends in. It came out with friends. So, you know, it's to me, it feels very much like spirit is saying, yes, roll the dice, let some new people, some new friends into your energy field, because one of those people might want to roll the dice with you um, and take a chance on you. And spirit is asking you to take a chance on yourself by loving yourself and also um, take a chance on other people so that you can allow them to take a chance on you, if that makes sense. Okay. From the Rumi Oracle, we have <clears throat> Rumi, sorry, um, Bodhi. I don't know why I said Rumi Oracle. It says, watch out for people that don't add to your life. They are dragging you down to their level. And again, this was me feeling the very toxic energy around you. Spirit is opening the avenue for you to have new friends and to get rid of these other friends that are not serving you, okay? My ears ringing, which is confirmation for me. They are dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. And it is 11-11 on my camera. So this is showing me that I'm definitely spot on and on the right track for you, Cancer, my beautiful water signs. You are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. So go ahead and keep allowing love to influence your decision. Don't close yourself off or close your heart off because of this energy of, um, actually, I'm going to leave those out, this swords energy. So I feel like at the moment you're using way too much logic. You're not allowing your heart to No, I take that back. You are allowing your heart to influence your decisions, but there is also a, there's almost like a contradicting energy. It's like you want to be open, but you're afraid and you go from opening up your heart to bringing up your sword. And I'm actually going to open and read a little bit about these cards, the nine of swords. Because they came out like that in a progression, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, I want to go ahead and sort of glance into this and see um, what it means when they're like that. Okay, one second. Okay, so the Nine, oh, this is Eight of Swords, wrong one. Nine of Swords says... Beware of tempting but false invitations. Deception and even possible violence are warned by this card. But bear in mind that adversity is the best test of character. Just as a sword requires fire and hammering to get, hammering to get a sharp edge, in the long run, know that all adversity can be turned into good. So it's about being pulled into false temptation. So for some of you, when you got involved with someone that wasn't for you and there was this false temptation, that is what sort of um, dragged you into this energy of heartbreak or not being true to who you know you are at the core of your being, my beautiful Cancers. Um, and that energy might have sort of um, forced you into setting up some boundaries and um, feeling a little bit closed off. Yes, it says criticism and blame. Judgment is tried and tested. But it says that it's important to remember that there's no better way to test the value of your beliefs especially if you have the humility to adapt them to reality. So see, there you might have recently dealt with someone who you felt was judging you very negatively. Um, they may have criticized and blamed you for things that went wrong in your connection. And so therefore, you felt like you had to put up a lot of strong boundaries with this person. You know, they they obviously were not being completely honest with you. And there may have been some aspects in there where you were not being completely honest with yourself as to, you know, whether or not you wanted to keep this connection going. The Seven of Swords is all about manipulation and about deception and lies. So I feel like this 
connection recently that you had with someone, um, or it could even be the connection that you have with yourself. There was um, an energy of blaming and criticism and judging, and this could be you judging yourself harshly. It could be someone that you felt that you were connected to that started to judge you harshly, harshly, and then you sort of felt a disconnect with this person due to the manipulative manipulative energy and the lies that was sort of being um you know piled up in this energy so it was muddling up your connection so just be aware of the the spots where you are <clears throat> not being honest with yourself um and fix those issues so that way your world can reflect um the truth of your being and your personal truth so anytime there is anything reflected outside of us that feels uncomfortable then it's an opportunity for us to figure out where it is that we are manipulating or lying or reflecting that about ourselves out into the world and how it's reflecting back to us as a mirror okay and it's it's not that you're doing it on purpose or that it's a necessarily a bad thing cancer this is a beautiful um, chance for you to <clears throat> figure that out so that you can grow and get onto your highest timeline because spirit is bringing you this um, energy of abundance and love, but you have to be prepared for it first. Okay, so let's read about the star of Venus and figure out what else you need to know on your twin soul journey. And this will be the last card that we excuse me, that we read for you, my beautiful Cancer. And if you want to book a reading with me, I will put my love readings on sale. All of my readings will be on sale. And you can click on the description box below um, to find my email in order to book a personal reading with me. All right, number 26, El, El Uza, the Star of Venus. And some of you, I feel, will resonate with this because you are definitely um, from the Star of Venus. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Cancer. It says, I am the pure light, my son. I am not a handful of worthless dust. I am not just an empty shell. I am a regal pearl formed in this world. Close your eyes to see and become aware of me. Perceive me with eyes that see the unseen. Come into the mastery to find me. I am a carefree visitor here for you. My beautiful one, born of pure radiance, you have love in your heart and a passion for play that cannot be dulled by bleakness, boredom, or fear. Your soul is sensual and dances with life, with utter abandonment and devotion. Though the ways of this world seem strange to you at times, you eventually declare it to be nothing but strange beauty and expand your heart resisting nothing to allow all to be bathed in the radiance of your being. You are here to share the light of another world, a blessed world of consciousness, pure and divinity. So absolute that it transcends duality and instead brings all into the oneness of the greatest love. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna read that one more time. You are here to share the light of another world, a blessed world of consciousness pure and divinity so absolute that it transcends duality and instead brings all into the oneness of the greatest love. Wow, that is phenomenal, Cancer. So Spirit is wanting you to focus on bringing the... And I feel like a lot of you, this might be part of your mission. Focus, it was just 1919 on my camera, which is confirmation. Um, focus on your mission, which is part of your mission is to bring the consciousness of one um, love or the fact that we're all connected in one universal energy of love and connected by that one source of love and to focus on bringing that message to the collective and that is going to be what um, connects you with your twin soul and also 
puts you on your highest timeline of love and abundance, which of course includes your twin soul. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Cancer. Um, try to continue to lead with your heart and leave that logic and the swords behind because you are going into your highest timeline of love. You just have to trust the process, Cancer. I love you so much. Mwah.